Hey guys, it's Vano. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we took out the first three people of the Elite Four, and in this part, we're ready to fight the last person. He leads the Elite Four. Call him Lance the Dragon Master. You know dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch him. That's, that's ironic. The raising is true. The catching, no. Wow, they're, they're so determined, these guys, seriously. Anyway, this is... He, he has gym leader music, thankfully, he has gym leader music. So anyway, this is Lance. He is a dragon-type dude. He has Gyarados, that's not a dragon. Although it's very similar to a dragon, but I don't think it is. Uh, this Gyarados knows Hydro Pump, Dragon Rage, Leer, and Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam's a... I really should have used my elixir, shouldn't I? Thunderbolt should do it. If not, then... Thunderbolt. If you use a Dragon Rage, it's only going to do 40 HP of damage. Thunderbolt did it! And that wasn't even a crit! Wow! Speed V. I'm impressed. Ugh. Anyway, Speed V is trying to learn agility. I see the reason, but you are the second fastest Pokemon in the game. Seriously, you don't, you don't need agility. Now, he's going to send out Dragonair, so I'm going to send out Dragonair. And the only problem is that he's 10 levels higher than me, and I really wish I was in the later generations where I had more attack. Thankfully, I'm faster than him, and I have no clue how. Okay, so this Dragonair knows Agility, Slam, Dragon Rage, and Hyper Beam. I appreciate Hyper Beam. Again, I would have loved Hyper Beam, but... And yes, I am going to wrap him. If it works, don't question it. For example, the fact that I'm faster than the, the exact same Pokemon 10 levels higher than me, I don't even know. It, maybe it's because that these Pokemon don't have effort values. Maybe it's because they count these Pokemon without effort values. Which is strange, because I think in later games they do make sure that the trainers have effort values on their Pokemon, so they are stronger than wild Pokemon, technically. Because it doesn't really make much sense how come Moopy is faster. Like, in terms of stuff, like, that wouldn't make any sense. Ah, oh, you jerk! You jerk! So anyway, yeah. I, I run- by the way, this is the first time you would normally see Dragonair. So... By the way, his Dragonair should have evolved by now. I know it's a minor note, but it's just like, why do these people do this? Your Pokémon can evolve! Do it! Do it! Evolve it! Dude. I think this is the literal epic rap battle of history. <laughs> hey, if Brock can do it, so can I. <laughs> Seriously, I'm using rap. On freaking Lance and it's working. Oh my goodness. Please don't you hyper potion this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. You know what my favorite part about this is? It's another Dragonair! <laughs> okay, so this Dragonair, same moves. Agility slam, Dragon Rage, Hyper Beam. Uh, I'm just gonna slam him. A bit of damage. See, Dragon Rage is gonna do 40 HP on me. That that's a flat rate. It always does that. And you know he could totally annihilate me if he just used Slam, but no, he's not. He's just gonna keep using Dragon Rage. Okay, sure. So yeah, so Dragon types are kind of resistant to a lot of types, which is a bit annoying. Also, why is this one more resistant to Rack? Hey, uh, the random number generator didn't quite. I, work that time. I just want to get rid of this guy, so I'm just gonna wrap him. Wrap. By the way, there's only one family of dragon types in this game. That's dragon it. <laughs> there's only one family of dragon types in this game. That's oh, I missed. Yeah, now I'm stuck. Yeah. Go out with a bang! Oh. 
That was not effective at all. That was totally not effective. Now the problem with this guy... Oh, actually, Ice Type's super effective, isn't it? Yeah. See, I really wanted to use the Dragonite, but nope. It didn't quite happen. And you know, I actually expected myself to be these high levels. And it's weird, because I actually did fight every single trainer in the game. Okay, so now he's going to send an Aerodactyl. Here's a tip. Electric. Is... Does not hit ground. However, it is normal. It doesn't do any difference on rock type. Aerodactyl is rock flying, which means electric is super effective. Not many people actually notice that. Uh, this Aerodactyl knows supersonic. Takedown. Bite. And hyper beam. So, he doesn't actually know any rock type attacks. Are there any rock type attacks? I don't even know. I think they're like, bite. I don't even know. And finally, he has a Dragonite. This is the evolution of Dragonair at level 55. This was the beast I wanted. I... Well, I may as well just use Clamp Climb again. This thing is absolutely terrifying. And by terrifying, I mean this thing is epic. No. Not epic. Epic means long. Awesome. As in, it puts awe. It is... It is terrifying to go up against this thing. Which is why I'm gonna use Blizzard. I hope for the best. I quit! I quit! It wasn't even a It wasn't even critical! I'm 19 levels too short! And that wasn't even a critical and a kill! Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm complaining that I'm, this is too easy! I don't know how I'm doing this. Okay, well, there goes Lance. Yeah, I know! I know! How'd that happen? Yep. You have to face another trainer. He beat the Elite Four just before you. Yeah, all habits don't die, really. Okay, so... Okay, so we're gonna use a revive. Oh gosh, this is, this is gonna be... This is gonna be... Tricky. Well, I think we got this. Now, a max ether, if I'm correct, recovers all the PP of a single move. Whereas an elixir... Oh, actually, yeah. Whereas an elixir, and I, I've got two max elixirs, and I would like to use the elixirs on Clam Clam. One elixir on Clam Clam. Another elixir on Speedy, because Speedy needs that. Uh, on top of that, I'm gonna full restore them because I'm gonna heal them anyway. By the way, you don't need you don't need 50 full restores. I just like buying that because it gives me protection. You know, I just, I just feel safe, the fact that I have so many full restores. Um, and... also got... I've got ethers, so I'm gonna use... One ether on Grabo's guillotine. You never know when they have come in handy. Uh, one on... I haven't used Snoozer at all. One on Mookie's Wrap. And... One on Bubba's Razor Leaf, because why not? Okay! We are all ready for the final battle. Save now, actually. I don't know if it chucks you right at him. Okay. Yeah, it does. It puts you right at him, so yeah. I was looking forward to seeing you, b and My rival should be strong keep me sharp. While working on my Pokédex, I looked all over for powerful Pokémon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokémon type. And now, I'm the Pokémon League Champion. You know, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world, even though I beat you just before we went out. And here we are, the final battle of the game. So we do have to fight Blue one more time. Okay. So, he is difficult to say the least. He's still faster than him, right? So he's got Pidgeot, Wing Attack, Mirror Move, Sky Attack, which is pretty painful, and Whirlwind. Whirlwind does nothing. Uh, yep, that is Sky Attack. If he's glowing, he's using Sky Attack, and you really need to kill him or switch out to something that can stand it. Other than that, though, you're pretty much all set. Now, what is he gonna send out next? He's gonna send out his Alakazam. Ah, uh, ooh, this is gonna be tricky, Alakazam. You know, I'm gonna send out Moopy. Okay, so his Alakazam knows Psy Beam, Psychic, Reflect, and Recover. However, this is actually the weakest Pokemon on his team, so. 
this music is awesome, by the way. Uh, Fire Blast. Reflect. Ooh, mm, this isn't gonna end up well. Actually, how, how much damage will Fire Blast do? You know, it really doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would. I'm just gonna Dragon Rage Bam. If Lance does it, so can I. And it does more damage than Fire Blast, so I don't even know. So, of course he's gonna recover spam. Also, I think I found out, um, while doing the old man glitch, I haven't done it in this save, but... I just wanna say, I think I found out that enemy trainers don't actually run out of PP. I had a time where Mewtwo would just constantly... do stuff. Yeah, this is why Alakazam's a bit of a jerk. Actually, I'm not fast enough. Nah. Well, Loopy! I'm sorry, but you actually suck. Uh, who would be great for withstanding this? Snoozu! You've got a really good attack, he doesn't have any attack. Pretty much body slam. Don't even know why I try. Okay, so now he's got, uh, he's gonna sound right on. Uh, okay, so right on knows Leer, Tail Whip, Fury Attack, and Horn Drill. Again, no biggie. No biggie. Uh, Bubba, you can do this. Uh, I'll Solar Beam, because why not? Technically, Solar Beam can do more damage, inevitably. It does more damage than if it were a crit, but if it's not a crit, then it doesn't do as much damage. But still, like, Solar Beam's awesome. Uh, so yeah. Okay, now he's going to send out Executor. Executor, it, if you chose uh, Squirtle, he doesn't have Executor. Uh, this Executor knows Hypnosis, Brush, and Stomp. I think he's missing a move or something. I, I swear he had more moves before, but now he's only got three, so... And Moopy is dead! Who am I gonna still need? Uh... You know what, Snoozu? I'll send you out, so I can max revive Moopy. Because, holy snap, I... Moopy needs to do at least something. Come on. Like, he's on my team, and he hasn't really come out at all. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna switch out, because... Moopy! Oh, please don't kill me. What kind of person uses hypnosis twice in a row? Fire Blast! Because he's grass sucks, so this would do a lot of damage. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take the burn. Moopy, at least he can do something. By the way, Pinto hasn't actually come to use this battle yet. Uh, yeah, so he's only got Hypnosis, Barrage, and Stomp. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, they're, they're both physical attacks, by the way, so... By the way, he's doing less damage because a burn actually, like, halves your attack stat. Like, you know, while you're, while you're burned. Which means, it's actually really annoying if you are a physical attacker and you get burned. Because it's just like, it's just, you cannot defeat your opponents now. Well, Snoozu, you leveled up. Good on you. Okay, now, I know we sent out Gyarados, but I already used Speed V. So, Grabo, this is your time to shine. Now, his Gyarados, if you chose Charmander, he's not going to have a Gyarados. Uh, this thing knows Dragon Rage, Hydro Pump, Hyper Beam, and Leer. Now, if you chose, um, by the way, yes, he did evolve his Execute, so yeah. Um, if you did choose, uh, if you didn't choose Bulbasaur, he would have an Arcanine that knows Raw, Leer, Ember, and Takedown. You would think he would know a better fire type attack, but he doesn't. Oh, snap. I know he's 22 levels above me, so he might kill me with this, but I really would love a guillotine. Ah, oh, come on! That would've been- that would've been awesome. Let's do it again. <laughs> I don't care, I've got Max Revise, I can use this! <laughs> I can do this, I can do this. Hyper Beam, yep, it is Hyper Beam. By the way, Hyper Beam is one of those moves where... In later generations, there's a lot of moves that do this. 
Yes, he just- oh, that's a crit, so. Um, where you attack, and then it doesn't actually do anything on the next turn. You have to sit still. However, pretty much, if you can kill someone, like, once- Why? Why are you attacking twice? Why are you attacking twice? How are you attacking twice? You just use Hyper Beam. Twice. Yeah, I give up. Oh no! Oh, thank goodness he's using Lear. Why didn't he use Lear on... That would have been awesome if, he, if I could get Guillotine on him. Oh well, so anyway, yeah, so... His Arcan... If, if he chose, uh, not Venusaur, his Arcanine wouldn't actually be that great. You know, it's only got Ember. I mean, it's Arcanine, so it's pretty strong. And now, here comes his final Pokémon. And to be epic, I am not using Bulbasaur. I'm not using Venusaur. Now, his Charizard, if he chose... Uh, Bulbasaur knows Fire Blast, Rage, Slash, and Fire Spin. And it is painful. Fire Spin, especially, because that actually stops you from attacking. Uh, if you chose Charmander, he would have a Blastoise and knows Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Bite, and Withdraw. I swear, he's becoming my choice of more, more I talk about. Uh, if you chose Squirtle, he would have a Venusaur that knows Growth, Mega Drain, Razor Leaf, and Solar Beam. So pretty much... Oh. I know it's tense, but I've got three Pokemon and also I'm, I'm just gonna use Thunder on him. You know, Speedy, I actually thought you were the suckiest one in the group, and you ended up being the best because you went first. Every single time, except the slash is gonna be a crit, it's gonna kill you. No! Oh, it was a crit, so. <laughs> yes! I just beat Blue like 20 levels way too low! And there you go! If you beat Blue, you are the Pokemon League champion! Yeah, I know. What do you mean it's not fair? You lost me just before, you lost me just here. I beat you down there. Anyway, Professor Oak apparently is the new gym leader, so now you gotta fight him, right? now. <laughs> so you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League Champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur. Bino, you have come of age! Blue, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost! Blue, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love! <laughs> I love how trust and love, even though I just said Pinsir and... I, I just said Grabber and Rupee had, like, served no purpose in this Elite Four. <laughs> Without them, you would never become a champ again! Biondao, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. Yeah, it was the Pokemon's doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous! Come with me. Okay. So yeah. Legit, that's the end of the game. Ahem. <clears throat> Congratulations, Biondao. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Being now, you have endeavored hard to become the new League Champion. Congratulations, being now, you and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. And then it gives you a run through of all of your Pokemon. Speed V, holy snap, you are good. You are good, Speed V, you came through. Uh, Pinsir, nah. To be honest, I don't think I would recommend Pinsir now. I think it's just because he didn't really have a lot of moves and he was kind of slow. You know, Venusaur did alright. He did alright. He tanked a bit, took out a bunch of enemies, did alright. Snorlax, I didn't use you that much, but, you know, you tanked it. And then you got hyper beamed. Almost. Moopy, you would have been awesome if you evolved. You would have been awesome if you evolved. And Clam Clam, you were very useful before. Didn't really come to use blue, but you know, you were pretty good. And finally, here is me. 26 and a half hours, and I've seen 137 Pokemon. And also, by the way, Professor X gives you a reading, like the same thing that you get on your on your PC. And that's the game! That's Pokemon Blue! There's a lot of problems with it, but that's really only if you compare it with the newer games. Seriously, a lot of the newer games solve a lot of these problems. Uh, but, like, especially, there's, there's quite a few balancing problems. I actually have no clue how I just beat the game with, like, my Pokemon sitting at level 40-something. Like, seriously, 
Blue's weakest Pokemon was a level 59 Alakazam. It's Alakazam! It's one of the best Pokemon in the game. And I trumped it with a freaking Snorlax. I mean, Snorlax is pretty good. So yeah. That being said, I wouldn't I wouldn't say playing the older games are bad. They're actually really really nostalgic games for me, just because I I played them when I was like two years old. They were some of the best. They were some of the most fun I had, and all my friends jumped on the bandwagon. And you know, all of us do appreciate Pokemon. In fact, with the new Pokemon X and Y, I specifically said to myself, "I'm not looking any of this online. I am literally going to try and play this without knowing what any Pokemon is." And it was kind of fun. That Iwata, hey, you're still there, except someone else is there. Hey, testing Mario Club. Um, but yeah, and I think Pokemon is one of those games that might be able to last for decades. That is if Nintendo still was around, but yeah, it's the end. Anyway, I think if you press some buttons, you end up back at the main menu. That being said, the game does save. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, join me next time on Pokemon Blue, where we head for one last challenge. I'll see you kids then.